Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Going Through It with Kenichi and Natalie. Today, we're going to be discussing boundaries in friendships. And the reason this topic came about is because of what happened with Jordan Woods, Khloe Kardashian, and Kylie Jenner. So if you guys aren't familiar with this situation, because Natalie isn't really herself, Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods were best friends, living together in the same house. They've been best friends since they were like 15, I think it was. They're now 21. So that's a, a significant amount of time. And Khloe Kardashian is Kylie's sister, okay? So Jordan Woods went to Khloe's baby daddy's shower. Now, if you guys don't know the history, uh, Tristan Thompson previously cheated on Khloe publicly. Like, he went out to a party and was kissing girls. It was a whole thing while she was pregnant, mind you. Did her crazy ever come out? She said she said she acted crazy, but she forgave him. He was mm. still. It, this was a few days before she gave birth. It came out to the mm. public. Yeah, so uh -huh. she forgave him, and she realized. She said, you know, they were going to be a family, and they were were going to try to make it work. Then it came out publicly that Jordan Woods, who was Kylie Jenner's best friend, mind you, Chloe also treated Jordan Woods like her little sister. Um, Jordan was in her company's campaign for Good American and all of that. It came out that Jordan and Tristan made out or were having a fear. That's what ha supposedly happened. So for me, there are a lot of things that went wrong with that story. But just to summarize, Jordan Woods then went on Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith, you know, the... OGs in the game. And mm -hmm. she said that, yes, she was wrong for attending that party without Chloe or Kylie being there, but she was not the one who kissed him. He kissed her. Mind you, she was leaving his house at 7 a.m. Wait, wait, wait. Where was the shower? They went to the club. You know, in LA, the clubs end at 2 mm -hmm. o'clock. So it was an after party at Tristan's house, and she went to Tristan's house. And the party ended at 7 a.m.? With all these people, or just them two? No, it was, she said there were more people there. Mm -hmm. That's a, it wasn't un, it's not unusual for the young Hollywood elite to leave parties at that time in the morning. All right. I mean. So she said when she was leaving, he asked her, like, you sure you don't want to sleep over? This is a safe place for you. And she's like, no, I have a car waiting. And she was saying goodbye to him. And then he leaned in and kissed her. And she said it was no making out. It was no nothing. She just couldn't believe it happened. She went home instead of telling she told them she went to the party but she played it off like she was just there trying to make sure that he wasn't with other girls so she wasn't honest with her best friend in saying that she kissed him or whatever or he kissed her whatever happened and she didn't tell the truth so she said that's where she went wrong for going okay. to the party and mm -hmm. not being honest and saying he kissed her so two discrepancies now do we know if that when he came in for the kiss she backed up or she was there like a dead fish um it happened the lips touch um so i don't know mm. i'm gonna call all of the bs i call bs too but on the kiss part i know sometimes you're so frozen things happen so quick where you can't even believe it, like someone kisses you or something like that, and you don't even have time to react. So with the backing up part, I'm going to give her a slide on that because things have happened to me where I'm just like, wait, what's happening? And before I could even react, it happens because I'm frozen because I'm so shocked that the shit is actually happening. Here's my thing, though. I'm going to agree with that, but hold on. Let me ask you a question about your experience. Okay. Uh, did you know these people that were trying to come for you? Yeah, I knew them. Well, it's been multiple people. So some that I may have, I may not have known, but the one incident that I'm thinking of in my head, I knew the person. I was walking with the person at just talking, regular conversation. And then it's like, you don't see it coming. It just happens. Okay. Here's my thing. Um, he's a known cheater. Uh, you're the little sister best friend. So you know what's up. Exactly. Two, he's pretty eye looking. So you really could be attractive, especially with the way you look right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, for that's a bad setup you knew that you knew what you were doing in the first place 
like why even go and then like me this is where the boundaries really come into play Mm because she was explaining okay so it came out in the media that they were canoodling or whatever at the party and they took away everyone's phones so no one could take a picture she said she had no idea that everyone else's phone was was taken away because she still had hers but she could see why people would oh and it was also said that she gave a lap dance she said she could see why people would think that it was a lap dance because if you're looking for a story it was like a, a armchair she said he was sitting in the chair she was sitting on the arm of the chair and she crossed her legs over his legs it wasn't on him but crossed over and for me that's I just don't understand how people could feel comfortable to do these things because these are things I would never feel okay doing to like a friend or a family member's man like to me it's always that distance even hugging I'm just like you know like that weird hug because i just don't feel comfortable this this is the thing you got a whole ass mother mansion you know yeah (laughs) and you want to sit on the arm now i can't the the canoodling thing like i i love my film and theater people you know entertainment but we do have a lack of boundaries when Mm -hmm. it comes to that because cuddling sometimes we need that because you know what the heck sometimes it's actually plutonic but what I've also seen in my experience is that these things sometimes really are a BS excuse to get stuff popping, you know? Yeah. So I like, even though this whole touchy feely stuff is I right, with certain people is just not, mm-hmm. you know? And I feel like she, she was like, just knowing the history of yeah. their situation yeah my thing is why is your man having a party and you're not invited he's 26 years old and i believe chloe is 33 so despite the age difference you have a new baby a new freaking baby why are you having house parties at these types of hours anyway you should be home with your family right to me that's even inappropriate like why does he need to throw a party and your girl is not even there and you have a newborn baby so that's just he's not even a good boyfriend at that point because it's like go home and help with the f- kid that's how i see it it's not like he was hosting a gig or doing something to mm-hmm. make money right why are you even having a house party he's and not then- a decent person i'm not even gonna give him boyfriend because that's that's lack of responsibility on all levels yeah. as a father as a as a, a baby daddy i don't know if he's a husband or a boyfriend or whatever baby daddy uh, baby daddy and he just got no respect. And when you don't have respect for others like that, you don't have respect for yourself because yeah. what you're going to be a baby daddy of like five different people. And then at 40, one still running around chasing these chicks. Cause he's running down that, that bad line. Real quick. That is his second baby mama. And a lot of people will, we'll get to the boundaries really quick, but let me just say a lot of people was just saying it's her karma because she got with him while he had another girl pregnant. So, Mm. ironically the baby the first baby mama's name is jordan so <laughs> that's the pattern exact exactly. just wait exactly. for that time to come and i'm not saying that as a like you you get what you deserve but more so like you knew what was coming so yeah i mean i'm sorry but you knew what was coming yeah now, if I you didn't know if he lied to you straight up yeah that's a different story to me you know? is I don't think I would have been able to move past the first cheating incident because it was so public. Mm -hmm. It's one thing if you Mm -hmm. found out privately and you try to move on, but it's like, you know, she's a big name. So like a powerhouse, right? The whole family. And for you to just have no care in the world and just make out with these girls in public, it wasn't like in a hotel room trying to hide anything. It was just out in public where anybody could have cameras. It's like, you almost want to get caught. And it's like blatant disrespect and disregard for my feelings. So I probably couldn't get back past that, like the public humiliation of it all. Yeah. And on top of that, I did see, I, I wasn't following, but you know, there's so much of them. A regular person yeah. is going to catch the stories. So I saw pictures of him on his phone the entire time uh, during this dinner, immediately after they got together. And she's not on the phone at all. She's just looking like, is he going to get off the phone? Cause I'm yeah. waiting. And it's like, wait a minute, you need to get crazy. Cause this is not cool. Like I, I, I do think boundaries are heavily linked to respect now. 
Like, okay. so let's get into the boundaries. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about friendships and your significant other. Okay. How do you create boundaries in terms of those two relationships? All my friends are away from him. Like you're in California. <laughs> my other one is in New Jersey. <laughs> and it just ended up like this. Yeah. But here's the thing. I trust my friends enough. Like, first off, they know better. They just mm-hmm. know better, you mm-hmm. know? So that's number one, pick your people. Yeah. Two, let your guy know, hey, this is what it is. This is what mm-hmm. I'm about. If you ain't about this, you know, monogamy stuff, as, if you choose that type of relationship. But they lie. They lie all the they time. Lie. So Right, but they... What, what is the best you can do unless you're going to go like FBI, you know? Yeah. Um, and then let them know you're crazy as insurance. Mm-hmm. Then if you end up finding out anything happened, let's say, let's say you did something with, with David. First okay. off, I know you wouldn't. Don't put that juju on me. Like, no. <laughs> I, I really think you wouldn't. Even no, if you. I, no, 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 no. But like, God, just the it, fact that someone even had their penis inside of another friend of mine, I'm already turned off at yep, that. Like, like I don't want it. anything anybody okay. else had. Yeah, so anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Um, you did come for him. First off, it's going to be different because you know way the hell better, you know? Yeah. And so that move was definitely intentional because mm-hmm. whether you thought about it or not, you made the decision, I don't care. And that's a problem. And I don't want to hear it about drunk because that was their excuse that, you know, they yeah. were, they had alcohol involved and stuff. It's like, Wait you a still minute. know what the hell is going on when you're drunk, you know? Right. Still- and drunkenness brings out truth. So you telling me you always wanted to mess with this person? For me, because I'm your friend, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean that David is my friend automatically, mm-hmm. right? Like, and people, I've, sh- yeah, yeah, I've come across that a lot. Like people tend to think because they're cool with me, automatically they're cool with my man. And that's not how the f*** it goes. It's not like a, a group. I, I don't know. You're my friend and played as such. And their friends are their friends and played as such. Because God forbid something happens and we go our separate ways, you're still going to be my friend. His friends are still going to be his friends. But we just happen to link up. Like nothing is wrong with having a cool conversation. But I just don't understand how people could get too comfortable. I am sorry. I don't put anything past anybody. And mm-hmm. I can't say like this person would never do that to me. And that person, because I have been f***ed over Except numerous times. Huh? Except maybe me. Yeah. I'm always a good bet. I'm also always a very good bet. So see, if you see me in a competition, because, bet me. <laughs> <laughs> but just because I've been wrong by people I was really, really close to, even though I don't think you would do it, I still would never say out of my mouth, oh my God, Natalie would never do this to me. Yeah. Because you, I understand. Yeah. Because you just, you just never know, right? So I'm mm-hmm. always just going to be cautious. I would hope so. And I think in my heart of hearts that you wouldn't, but I can't find it in myself to say never because then if something did happen the shock of it all the hurt of it all is just like so it's almost like a self-defense mechanism yeah i've had friends that slept with ex-boyfriends of mine i've had friends that um while you were in the relationship with that ex-boyfriend honey yes oh oh okay so but this is the thing i i never cared about i just was out of a relationship and I was just going through like a rough time. So this guy, he really liked me. Everybody's like, you haven't had a boyfriend in so long. You need a boyfriend. And I was just like, this is in high school I'm talking about. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'll be this little boy's girlfriend or whatever. I never really liked him. Um, We never hung out or anything, but I had a friend over and I was talking to him on the phone. I was like, hey, you know, you could talk to my friend, get to know her. And they were talking like if they've known each other for a long time. So I'm like, damn, in another world, they actually would have been good. Now, mind you, no numbers were exchanged or anything like that. Like she never gave him her number. He never gave her her number. But the thing was, he was best friends with another friend's boyfriend. So that other friend's boyfriend came to me and was like, Kenichi, it's something I need to tell you. I'm like, okay, go tell away. Do you know such and such slept with such? And for the life of me to this day, I can't understand how they even linked up and connected because I was right there. But I just didn't care because I didn't like him anyway. But the... Uh, (laughs) (laughs) All right, girl, whatever. It's kind of (coughs) like you said it already. If, you know, me and him didn't link up first, you guys might have actually worked out. 
and I knew she was kind of hoish. So I wasn't surprised by it. But the thing is, it just made me not put anything past anyone else. Also, I've seen it done to other people. Like one of my really close friends slept with another close friend's man and was hiding it the whole time. I kind of ended up in the middle of it. But once I found out what it was, you know, I had to confide in the other person, like, this is what's going on. But the other friend who was sleeping around with that friend's boyfriend was playing it off like, girl, I'm just trying to help you. Because the friend that was in the relationship, she would say, can you call my man and tell him, if they would get in an argument, can you call and talk to my man? Can you call? And I was just like, if you're in a relationship with somebody, you don't need anybody else to talk to your man. You don't need anybody else to check your man. You don't need anybody else to do anything. So that gave them some type of feeling of friendship to the point where they started hanging out outside of her. And then shit went down. You know what I mean? I do. This is why I think boundaries is heavily linked to respect because boundaries is not something you set up for other people. It's people set up for themselves, Mm -hmm. you know? But with me, though, people don't know about boundaries. So I feel like you can't trust people to set up boundaries for themselves. You have to put those boundaries in place. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, you can't do anything about it, you know? Sure. So like, yes, the most you can do is be like, if you see some funny behavior, be like, I don't like that. Yeah. You should yeah. know better because you're a whole adult, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and you've seen some stuff. But if you're telling me you that hoe who slept with this other boy, this other girl's boyfriend because of it's whatever, yeah. then you don't have respect for yourself because why no. would you? Why? What? First, my thing is, it's even disgusting. Why do you even want someone that your friend's been with? To me, it's disgust. Like I don't know. It just gross me the f- out. Like why do you even? I my mouth been on him. My his mouth been on me. Like why? Why? It's just gross right. to me. Right. And if it's on some pride stuff, that's disgusting because it's like you can't get your own. Then you can't yeah. do the whole, your own fishing, the own chasing. Pick a different kind of pride. Don't be that disgusting, negative, seated, like, oh, I could get anybody's man. No. How about you can get any man who's available? Exactly. You know? Um, And that's different because they got options. You know? So, like, uh, it's just, uh, whew. And that same friend in the, uh, I was going to say in the future, but I mean, after that, a few years after I was in a different relationship and we were hanging out with um, my boyfriend at the time. And every time he would crack a joke, it'd be like, <laughs> hand on leg, hand on leg. And that boyfriend knew that I was freaking crazy because at that point I had been wrong so many times that now I'm not putting anything past anybody. So he's looking at me like she's about to lose her shit. So I'm giving, I'm like, I'm on the train. Let me calm down until eventually she's like, Haha, I just took her hand and I flung it down. And she's like, all right, you're doing the most. I'm like, no, no, you're you doing, doing the, most. the most. Check yourself. She's like, Oh, you're going hard. You're going hard. It's not that serious. I'm like, no, 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 no. It is that serious and respect me. I don't like, even when you, you meet someone's boyfriend or you see, you're seeing them again and it's a hug. I try to do like the side hug. So my boobs aren't like touching up on them. It's just, I'm so conscious of how my friend could interpret something. I don't want them to feel any type of way that I try to be extra cautious. And for someone to just feel so comfortable to like rub up on somebody in front of your face, it's just like, you have no type of cool, basically. Yeah. And then you know that this person is in the relationship with the other person. You know that their contract is a monogamous one. Like, that's just disrespect. And even if we weren't monogamous, who the hell says we would want you to be part of the, the oh, equation? Anyway? Word. Word. Okay. <laughs> so the fact of the matter is, you're my friend, you're not his friend, and, and act as such. Mm-hmm. Um, so after that, I just really got strict and weird. A lot of people think it's weird. Even my husband now thought it was, it's weird how I acted. So I had some friends in Trinidad and, you know, they met him when mm-hmm. we were just friends and they added him on social media and everything like that. I had no problem with that because it's like, okay, we're cool. You're just trying to keep in touch. But I would say I had this one friend who one time was just like, they were talking and she asked him for his information on social media. And I was like, why do you want to follow him on social media for? Like, anything you need to see, you can go through me, right? And she was like, oh, no, um, 
I just, I just want him on social media. I'm like, why is it so important that you follow him on social media? Like I was trying to understand it. So instead of respecting my wishes to me, like from the time someone acts funny like that, I'll be like, Oh my bad. Sorry. You know, it's okay. I would brush it off. But she kept on like pushing. And then she went behind me and turned to him. and was like, Hey, what's your information? So I'm like, now you're, that's to me. I took that as blatant disrespect. It is. I say no. And you're my friend. You respect my wishes. You don't try to go behind my back and to my man. And, and she was specific like, oh, don't worry about how, what's your information? Like, bitch, he sleeps with me. He's going to do what I say when it comes to my friends. Like, what do you think this is? So he was just like, oh, I'm not getting in yeah. this. Because <laughs> he knew better. Right. Yeah. Like a smart man. <laughs> yeah. It became my whole argument. Like, oh, you don't trust me. You don't whatever. Like, what's the big deal? And I'm like, why is it so important? Like, if you could tell me like, yo, why do you need to follow him? She had no reason. I felt bad. I felt guilty. We had a conversation about it. But then I followed, I followed her from his page. Right. Yeah. I didn't want to hurt her feelings. And then some of the time we were having a conversation and she didn't agree with what I said. So she messaged him and was like, hey, forget what Kimichi is saying. Let's just do this. And it proved my point. Like, you're not going to use social media to go behind my back. Like, what are you talking about? You shouldn't even really have communication with him. Because he's not yeah. your friend at the end of the day. You're my friend. So I'm just very weird about things like that. It's not that I mind my friends, fo them following each other, like my husband and my friends. It's how it's done and what it's mm -hmm. for that makes the most difference to me. Yeah. So, okay. So for you, with all of that being said, how do you expect your friends to interact with your significant other? What boundaries have you set up or do you expect? Um, I haven't set up any because my friends know better, but what I expect is total respect. Um, obviously, like, you can hug the person. Like, if you want to go full-on hug, that's okay because, you yeah. know, he's a good hugger. Uh, but, like, don't be <laughs> calling him after hours. Don't yeah. be, like, messaging him about, like, stuff unless it's a professional thing. That's yeah. different. And even then, I'm going to need to know a little bit about that, you know? Um, but, yeah, like... It's a little hard to say because I know y'all are going to act accordingly, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, hmm. So that's good. With me, I just expect he's not your friend. You're my friend. You know what I'm saying? So anything should be going through me. If it's professional uh, advice that you want, it should still be a conversation like, hey, do you mind me hitting up so-and-so? And he doesn't answer his messages anyway. So if you want anything from him, <laughs> you're better off going through me. Um, in terms of hugs, I don't really care about the hugs, but the laughing and the ha 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 and the being all touchy feely or trying to go behind my back to do something sneaky, that's completely inappropriate. And if it were to happen today, I'm cutting people off. Like I just oh, yeah. don't have time for any of the shenan shenanigans now. We're older and you should know better. So that's how I move. Mm -hmm. And basically don't act like you're single with my dude. Exactly. Like Exactly. Act like you just, just act like you have some sense. You don't need to be at his house or if, if your friend isn't there. Like, why do you even need to hang out with him outside of your friend? You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that's like me and, and your dude hanging out without you. It's like, yeah. Wow. Like, I'm sorry, but he's not that interesting for y'all to be hanging out together. Like, no, exactly. that's Exactly, and what that's can we mine. talk about without you? Like, like, anyway, no. so <laughs> it's just very important to set up. I know this podcast was very quick but I we just wanted to get it out there and really touch base on this topic but mm -hmm. it's very important to let your friends know what you expect in terms of them interacting with your significant other mm -hmm. but anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this topic it was really quick we have some good stuff I'm going to be in New York next week so we have some good content coming your way and I hope you guys are excited <laughs> yeah so thanks again don't forget if you're watching on YouTube you can find us on iTunes Spotify and Google Play Anything love y'all no stay away from my man <laughs> she's so <laughs> okay bye okay, bye